Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Types of fractions. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn the following. 1. Unit and proper fractions. 2. Improper fractions. 3. Mixed numbers. And 4. Conversion of improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Types of fractions. In our previous class, we said that fractions are numbers represented by two numerals, the numerator and the denominator, separated by a line. There are four basic types of fractions. They include 1. Unit fractions 2. Proper fractions 3. Improper fractions and 4. Mixed numbers, also called mixed fractions. That's good. Now, let's see the types of fractions, one after the other. Unit fractions Unit fractions are fractions with one as their numerators. Examples of unit fractions include 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 7, and 1 over 16. That's good. Note that unit fractions can also be called proper fractions. Now, let's see what a proper fraction is. A proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator. Examples of proper fractions include 2 over 3, 8 over 10, 3 over 4, and 3 over 8. That's good. Now, let's see improper fractions. Improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is equal to or greater than its denominator. Examples of improper fractions include 4 over 4, 2 over 2, 9 over 4, and 7 over 6. That's wonderful. Now, let's see what mixed fractions are. Mixed fractions or numbers, are numbers, made up of a whole number part, and a proper fraction part, represented together. It is called a mixed number because, it is a combination of a whole number, and a fraction. For instance, the images below show a one whole number, added, to a fraction of, 3 over 4. This gives us, one whole number, 3 over 4. That's awesome. Note that, mixed numbers, can also be converted to improper fractions, and vice versa. Conversion of improper fractions, to mixed numbers. In order to convert an improper fraction, to a mixed number, we divide the numerator, by the denominator. Note that, after the division, the mixed number is formed in a way, that the result, obtained becomes the whole number. The remainder becomes the new numerator. And the denominator, remains the same. Let's see an example. Convert, 17 over 5, to a mixed number. Solution. 17 over 5. We divide the numerator by the denominator. That is 17 divided by 5. This gives us, 3 remainder 2. Now, the result which is 3, becomes the whole number. The remainder which is 2, becomes the new, numerator. And the denominator which is 5, remains the same. This equals, 3 whole number, 2 over 5. That's awesome! Conversion of mixed numbers, to improper fractions. 
to convert a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. We multiply the whole number by the denominator of the proper fraction. Then we add the numerator of the proper fraction to the result obtained to get the numerator of the improper fraction. The denominator remains the same. Let's see an example. Convert 3 whole number 2 over 5 to an improper fraction. Solution 3 whole number 2 over 5. We multiply the whole number by the denominator. Equals 3 times 5. This gives us 15. Let's add the numerator of the proper fraction, which is 2, to give us 17 as the new numerator. Remember that the denominator, which is 5, remains the same. Therefore, 3 whole number, 2 over 5, equals 17 over 5 as an improper fraction. That's awesome! Assignment Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What unit and proper fractions are? 2. What improper fractions are? 3. What mixed numbers are? and 4. How to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks and goodbye.